This is Intern Views, the series where I talk to people I've never met about things unrelated to the pandemic. Hopefully we have fun, hopefully we learn about each other, and sometimes we talk about playwrights. Today's guest is Gray Powell. So, Gray, first of yeah. all, the first question I have is, is your real name Gray? It is. How, how many years have you been at the Shaw? How many seasons have you been at Shaw? I'm, I think this is, this is 14, 14 or 14 or 15, 14 maybe, yeah. 2007 was the first year. What is it about the, the specific work of this company uh, that keeps you engaged as an actor? I'm a champion of this place because it's one of these places where pe actors get to log hours. We just get to be on stage a lot. And for any actor, that's just important. I love communing with these people and being able to, you know, and, and not only like these people on stage with me, but these people out here and being able to have a conversation. I think that that was a, a huge eye opener for me just to sort of, to, 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 to uh, try and just be present. Because I think the short answer, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're cutting this down. Um, <laughs> Not this part, actually. I'll just let this run. What's a piece that you really uh, are, are still excited in your career to sort of be able to tackle? That's a great question, too. Um, that's the thing. I, haven't, I, I have no idea. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> I, the ones that I, the ones that I, the ones that I've really, really uh, loved have always been sort of surprises. I have to, I have to say, I'm kind of illiterate. Like I, I have not read the canon of everyone. So I don't know. Will Eno is a writer that still is, to me, I'd love to do more Will. Because I think he's got something really interesting going on. I'd love, I'd love to just be in an Annie Baker show, a piece, because they're so, I don't know, there's something, it's this, you know, kind of having only had a taste of Middletown, it's that hyper, whatever it is, it's that hyper magical realism or whatever, where you, you're just sort of sitting in, sitting and breathing in space where, you know, the, your, the, the, the idea is to sort of change the ions in the room with just an audience in the most mundane and minutia. I, I, I love, I love that. But also, I, I check off, sing now that we've checked out, oh, see, I can't even answer one. Sing and also, and also, um, I love Williams. And then there's also Shakespeare too. I haven't done, like I've done a bit. But this is it's a, terrible. So bad. Not even one. Answer. Do you want to keep listing playwrights? Because then we could just yeah. do a whole. <laughs> These are all the playwrights that Gray Powell knows. I think, it, I think it will surprise people. I mean, certainly you're not illiterate, but, but, but when people hear you say like that you haven't read the whole of the canon, uh, you strike me as someone, not knowing you, but you strike me as someone who's like a pretty academically minded actor. I'm not academically minded. Um, you're just a are, really good fake is what you're telling me. I think so. There's no endowing anything. There's just what's in the text and it's kind of like a bit of a recipe. What happens is you will read the recipe for a while figuring stuff out and then at some point something will happen. I've learned from guys like McCamus that you can just throw yourself in there uh, and, and, and physically and, and just kind of make choices off the top. And, and so I've, so I've, I, I don't know um, I'm definitely more in, in, intuitive than, than academic, I think. There are, peop there's a lot of, there are a lot of people that I look at in the room and go, wow, you know a lot about, you know, you're, you're, you know a lot about that. And you're, you're really smart. <laughs> and then I think Mr. Nelson, he was the one who came up to me and said, do you want to do this? And I, I think it was, the first one was being a hobbit in, a, or a, a, a Scottish dwarf in the, we did the hobbit. So. Uh, so I did that. I mean, I'm going to ask Nick to find some sort of animation of a Scottish dwarf for you to, to <laughs> dance across the screen during this moment. But he was my high school teacher and he kind of, or my drama teacher. And he, uh, yeah, he, he, we did Arsenic and Old Lace and he asked me to, to play Mortimer. And I, that's when I went, oh, hey, I, I like this. This is fun. Yeah. So I feel like every high school at some point has done Arsenic and Old Lace. Oh, I totally. <laughs> like if you haven't touched that at some point in your theatrical journey, I just don't know what's happened. So both kids are now, they're, they're used to sitting in, in theaters and they love 
they love watching a story unfold it yeah. and in whatever way that is for them which is which is which is great the kids i think look at us like they have no idea what their parents are up to but they kind of get it but then they look at other people who've got you know people with sort of norm, more normal jobs and they go well, you know are, why i don't know why why don't we have that big mansion over there because we live yeah. in Niagara lake so there's lots of you know affluent kids and, and then they you know we sort of go because we're actors like that's <laughs> pretty much it well we're at the point in the interview where now we do some rapid fire questions are you okay yeah i'm really good at rapid fire as you can tell i, I yeah I'm good <laughs> really really concise if you weren't an artist what would you be um i don't know a wanderer <laughs> Just like a drifter, just a casual drifter. drifter. Okay. Summer or winter? Oh, it's a tough one. Don't do that. Um, boy, that's hard. That one's hard. I got to go with both. I got to go with both. And then you have to uh, ask me a question. Okay, what do you love about theater? I love the, f the ways in which it is not filmed. I think the most. I like that you have to, as an audience member, come to the table and do some of the work yourself. Um, and I think that that part of it, maybe it's just because I get bored easily, uh, but that's that's part of why I am so engaged with it is like, I would much rather have someone say, this is a table and a chair and it not be a table and a chair and have me understand why and how it could be uh, than have a table and a chair. You gave me shivers. That's oh. a really, that's a, I, that's a great answer. I like that a lot. I think I, yeah, I like that a lot. Thanks so much. Well, it's great to get to finally meet you. And yeah, watch. you too. So, yeah. I, I hope, hope we we'll be able to see each other in real life at some point. Yeah, that'd be great. Too.